We're building a city today, but this city's a little bit different because we're floating in the sea and it's made entirely out of garbage. We're playing a new game called Flotsam today. Now this is out on Steam. There'll be a link in the description down below to where you can find the game if you're interested in purchasing it yourself. This is our fancy town beginning. We have a population of three. Uh, we don't have any boats or anything, but we do have to try to make uh, make the best we can out of the floating trash we have in the water. So there's like fish and stuff you see jumping around here. We can get food and things from those. We do have to supply uh, the necessities of life for our citizens. So we are going to need um, we are going to need to have things like uh, like fish and what have you for food. I think there might be other food sources we can get as well. Uh, we're gonna have to get water for them. We need uh, we need places for them to uh, to live and to sleep. And all that is stuff we're going to have to build, but we don't have any building supplies. We have to gather what we can from the ocean. And then when we have uh, have enough materials, we can build places for them to do things like make new materials and research things. It's kind of a neat little city building game. It's kind of a novel idea. I don't know how much depth there is to the game just yet. But I think it'll be fun to kind of check it out. Um, so this is the, the area where we do all the work and stuff. There is a map view here, too. And in the map view, you can see all the different places that we can go. I can't scroll to the right, unfortunately, so I can't see what's over there. Uh, but as we build the ability for our city to move around, we can move from place to place, and that lets us get other resources and materials. And we have to pick a path that we go down as we travel along, which is kind of neat. Conceptually, a pretty cool idea. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, we can get a little bit a little ahead here and make some progress. Uh, we do need to expand on our town, so to do that, we're gonna have to build. Uh, and as they gather in the resources, we'll have more things that we can open build. So we've got uh, walkways and storage and sleeping areas. Drying racks because we have to dry out wood and food in order to, to eat it. Uh, woodworking shelter, place to make water. We can make boats and stuff and have them. And then over here is where we can actually build stuff that lets us move our floating city around. Uh, so we can get, get to the next zone and stuff. I don't think we can move the city inside of a given zone. But um, we can set it up so it can sail and then, and then we can go. But uh, the first things first, we probably are going to need a place to store some of the materials that we've been getting. So we'll expand out on the side of the city here. Give us some room to work with. Um, yes, so from over here, we can build things like storage, and then I should probably build some like some drying racks and stuff here, because uh, I think we need dry wood in order to make certain certain things in this town. Uh, so we'll make make a couple drying racks uh, so we can get dry wood, and then ultimately when we get fish, um, we'll be able to use those for drying the fish also. But we're gonna need a boat before we can do that. Yeah, our first drying rack is finished. Let's set this one up to work on wood, because we don't have any fish just yet. So we'll get that going, making uh, making some dry wood for us. Uh, same thing down here. We'll get this going, I suppose. Let's do double wood production. Get, get a whole bunch of dry wood. We want to build living quarters for our people. I think I'm going to put like living quarters and stuff over here. Um, we'll extend down this way as well. Uh, at least I will when I have enough materials. Can't go very far. Uh, but we're going to need to build like a workshop to make some uh, some firewood. And then we'll also need to make a distiller so we can produce some water and stuff. And we have a point of interest up here too we can check out. Sailboat on the rocks. Some drifters trying to make a town on an island. Bad idea. With all the garbage floods. The sailboat has been wrecked on the cliffs though. Perhaps we can make use of its salvage. So we can go and salvage stuff. This will give us a mass that we can work with. Some rope. Uh, these are metal scraps so we can get those as well. Uh, there are different things you can find on the different salvage points, including research. And when we get some research points, we can go in here and unlock some other technology and stuff so we have more things we can build, too. We have a little bit of dry wood, so I think we should probably think about getting a place for our people to sleep. Uh, let's try and build another rampway off this side. A double walkway, I guess. I could also use some storage, so I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put a couple storage things here right across from our drying racks. I think is a good idea, so they can take stuff out of the storage and put it directly on the drying rack. I feel like that's probably a good idea. Down the center part here, we can build a woodworking shed. This is gonna let us make uh, both rope and firewood, both of which will be really useful. So I guess I'll stick that here. And then I think I uh, well I kind of used up my wood, so we don't have, we don't have enough to make living quarters anymore, but. You guys can do plenty of work, I guess. It's just, you know, something. We're gonna need a lot more wood than what we're getting. So we've uh, we've gotten more plastic than wood, but I'm gonna set up another another boy over here for wood. We'll set this one for two people to go out and work on it. 
This one, I, I lowered it down to one, so we'll have one person going over. There's mostly plastics over here, and we need less plastic right now than we need wood. So they can fetch that. There is a way, actually, to set priorities for your people, too. We can click in here and increase their priority for different things. I should actually rename our people, so I think I'm going to rename... I'm going to rename our, uh, our little drifters after the, the uh, some of the, the members from the channel. So thanks to everyone who has, uh, has decided to, uh, to support the channel through membership. Very much appreciated. We're going to take our top tier members uh, first, and they'll become our drifters on this uh, fancy little floating city thing we're making. Okay, so we have Toolkit 71, Durgan AD, and Kathleen Hart will be our first three drifters. And as we find more drifters, we actually have to rescue them. I don't think we can actually have our people reproduce or anything. Uh, but as, the, uh, as we sail along, I think we find more of them on different islands and stuff. And as we do that, uh, we can focus on... Uh, oops, no, cancel this. I don't want to do rope. Get rid of all these. That wasn't what I was trying to make. I want to make firewood. There we go. So as we find more uh, more drifters, we can name some more of them, and we'll uh, we'll just start going through our people that are uh, that are part of the, the membership program. So thank you again very much for your support. It took a while to get some dry wood, but we have enough to make at least one bed for our people to sleep in. Now I'm gonna put this relatively close in here. So I'll probably just put them in a straight row. We only need three beds. You need one bed for each of your uh, each of your uh, drifters, the population, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this workshop's kind of neat. So he's down here making firewood that we're going to use to make this uh, this fancy little distiller. Well, less, less to make this distiller, I guess, more to operate it. Uh, it does take a worker to use it, though, which is a bit of a nuisance because, you know, they constantly have to be in here working, which means they're not doing other things. Um, so if we can get to some technology later that will let us get water without having to spend the resources of a person down there, I think that would probably be best. Gonna build a third drying rack because this is just not going fast enough. I want I want wood faster. You can see we have 29 wet wood here, but it's the dry wood we need to make some of the things that we're trying to build. So wet wood's fine for the the gangways and stuff, but to get to the point of actually making making beds and stuff for people, we need the dry wood. Wood will probably build up a lot quicker if I don't turn it into firewood. So I, I stopped doing that for now. We can build up more dry wood. Didn't realize they were using dry wood, although I guess that, that makes sense. You know, wouldn't want to make firewood out of wet wood. That was pretty silly. Uh, so we got our second bed going. When we got some more... Well, actually, we need plastic, which they're hauling in now, I think. Uh, there we go. We got enough for our third bed, finally, so our people have a place to sleep. So now when they get exhausted, you can see this... Like, Durgan here, for example, is super sleepy. Dipper Durgan ate these things. Uh, she's almost out of energy. Turtle moves slower. Oh, they, they each have individual traits, too. I didn't even notice that so much. Hello! Uh, you're a turtle, so you're a slow mover, too. I guess they're all kind of slow movers. Okay, yeah, let's set this up for wood also again. I don't have... I don't have any fish right now, so I don't need to worry about drying stuff for that. Uh, we do need more plastics. Uh, there is a little bit out here we can get, but it's getting to the point where we have to swim farther away in order to get the plastic we need. And they can only swim so far. If you take a look at the swim boy, you can see there's this uh, this line out here that shows the maximum distance they can swim. Uh, anything beyond that, we're going to need a boat for. So I think I should probably should set up a boy out here. And our next focus should be on getting a boat. Otherwise, uh, we might be a little bit stuck for supplies. I want to make a mooring point, which will let us get a boat. But it does look like we actually need some rope. Uh, I had this set up for firewood before, but I guess we'll make a couple pieces of rope. So we get the mooring point made, and then we'll probably want to get, uh, well, food's not in a bad spot, so we'll probably want to make a salvage boat before we get a boat set up to catch fish. And we also desperately need to start producing some water. We're already down to 12 water, and I think hydration is going to be one of those things that's going to be something we'll have to constantly work at. So I'm going to set up something here to desalinate the water as well, so we have something for them to drink. I don't want them dying off on me from thirst or whatever. All right, we made some rope. Now we can make a mooring point. Uh, this goes on onto one of the dock positions. Uh, if I set it over here, actually, I kind of want to have a, another storage spot there. So I'm going to try to make sure I need to leave enough room for another sp storage. But we'll put uh, put the mooring point like right there. I don't know if I left enough space. Oh, hopefully I did. But we'll put a mooring point here. I want to try and keep the mooring points where the outside because they need room to actually get out. If we build around them, I don't think the boats can go anywhere. That's probably not a good idea. Yeah, we got a load of water. We're down to nine, so this is going to need to be set up to produce water. We'll just put this on infinite production. 
Make me all the all the water we can get with the firewood that we've already made. And I might as well might as well keep up some more firewood too, I guess. Uh, we have enough plastic now to make a boat, so we're gonna make a salvage boat because we're gonna need it. Stick that in the water there. We will need a fishing boat as well, but um, we have a decent amount of fish still at 27. It's not maybe as critical as uh, simply just gathering supplies because I'm I think I've, I've pretty much tapped out. Well, almost everything in range at this point. Oh, look, there's a giant whale swimming here. I can't select it, so maybe there's nothing I can do with it, but it seems to have these crazy teeth on it. It's like, almost like boar's teeth. Okay, our first boat is built, and none too soon, because we really need plastic. I'm completely out right now. Uh, we'll set a boy over here now. So they can gather the plastic, so I'll make it a little bigger, so we get a bigger range going here. 66 plastic in there, so that should be pretty good. We'll gather that. Uh, we will need wood as well, but we've, we're in a little bit better position for wood than we are for plastic at the moment. Alright, salvage is going pretty well. We have uh, a few more resources. Let's make another mooring point, so we can try to get another boat in here. It's kind of just on the edge of the end of this gangway, but I think that should give me enough space. Um, I think I'm going to build a fishing boat this time. Food is going to go down over time, and the more people we have, the, the faster it's going to drop. So we're going to need a fishing boat. Um, I don't know if I should do that first or another salvage. Maybe I'll build another salvage boat first. The more we can do to store up resources, the better. I don't, how much do these store? Oh, okay, these these hold 20 of each. 20 pieces. So we've got our storage is almost maxed out also. So we'll maybe want to add another small storage yard, given how much junk we're bringing back with us. Not that they're not using it, but... Oh, I put that too, I put the boat too close together. I can't actually put another storage thing in there. Well, that stinks. All right, maybe we'll put one right over here. I wonder if I could designate the storage areas for specific items. We'll extend our little walkway down this way a bit. Maybe one more unit down. That'll let us build a storage right in here. If I can designate this one for firewood, they'll have less distance to travel when they're carrying the firewood. I just don't know if we can define them that way. Oh yeah, so there is an option here to do like all or none. Uh, so we'll set this one up to store the firewood once they get it built and then they want to carry it as far. Okay, so we can set this to none and then we'll set it just for firewood. And then we're going to turn the firewood storage off on both of these. We'll keep that one just for firewood, I guess. Yeah, we built another plastic, we can build another boat, so I'm going to build another salvage boat. And then we can send them over here to gather more stuff. We've almost depleted the plastic here, so I'll send one boat over to get plastic to the side, one to get wood here. And we will need to go and check out this island too, but I'm not really in a huge rush to get that. Uh, we'll grab that probably just before we leave this area. That'll give us the mass that we need to get out of here, I think. Yeah, there's a mass there. Whatever the metal scraps are used for, we can get those, and then some more rope. All right, second boat's built. Let's set a boy out here. Try to get this big enough to handle all the plastic that's out here. All right, good. So we should stock up on plastic pretty quick. Um, I think we are probably gonna need still another storage uh, uh, option in here. I wonder if I can build a gangway here instead. I couldn't build... Yeah, I can. Good. Uh, well, at least I can when I get more plastic. Right now, I'll hold off on that, I guess. Oh, we have a good chunk of plastic now. We can build a little, uh, a little walkway down here. Uh, we'll extend this one down... All the way down to there. And then that'll give me room to put in more storage along here. We can store more supplies, and then we'll still be inside the range, actually close to where the boats are. So the boats are coming in, and they can just take it right in and drop it off in the storage pretty much right away. Um, these are set up for drying wood, but I haven't pulled any wood in a while. Which is okay, I guess, because we still have 15 of it left. Food is starting to get a little bit low, so we should consider putting in uh, another boat here if we can. I, I think I'm going to need to extend the walkway just a little bit down here. that out by 
ain't plastic or whatever. Uh, that will give us room to build another another mooring point along here. So we can build a fishing boat, and then that fishing boat will gather fish that we can dry on the drying racks, um, because we are down to 13 now. I'm probably spending longer on this first uh, this first map, first map location that I really need to, but I figure I might as well get some supplies stored up before we move on to the next point and uh, bring as many goods along with us as we can. Once our fishing boat is made, we're going to send it over here. They can gather... Oops, made it a little too small. Uh, they can gather the fish from here. And then I'm going to set up one of these drying racks once it gets finished with the wood. Which is, I don't know when that's going to be. Which one's furthest along? I'm right, going to change this one to fish. So it's, it looks like it's going to finish drying the wood, which is good. I thought it might bump it off right away. Um, but then we can dry the fish and store that away, and we'll have food available there. Firewood production is like a never-ending job. Constantly making firewood in order to feed into this thing. I don't know. There's got to be a better way to get distilled water, but I'm sure we'll have to, something we can unlock a little bit later on with research or something. Okay, we have an idle boat right now. So, you know what? I'm going to send the idle boat over to the island. We'll check this out. Sailboat on the rocks. So, we'll send that to salvage. That uh, second boat can go over there and check that out. We have the one boat still collecting wood from over here. One boat collecting fish, and then that uh, the second salvage boat. We'll go see what's on the island there. All right, sailboat made it all the way over to the island on the rocks, or the ship on the rocks, or whatever. Man, this place is a horrible mess. I don't know who designed this, but they didn't exactly uh, plan their layout too good. Not that I'm necessarily one to talk. I sometimes make some pretty sloppy towns in the games I make, but... All right, so he's gathering supplies out of the, out of the ship. Uh, and it looks like we pretty much cleaned it out already. That was quick. One quick load, and we got the stuff we can get out of it, I guess. There he goes, headed back to our little floating town. With whatever goods he found there. So I know there was, uh, there were, like, some metal, metal piping or something. Metal scraps. The sail, we got a little bit of rope. All of those things, I guess, will come in handy. Uh, now that we have that sail, we should be able to put it on the front of the boat. Once, well, once he unloads it, I guess. Yeah, so it was the sail rope and, and metal scraps. All right, we did find the sail there, so we can put that in a place to here. I'm just gonna stick it right at the front of the boat, I guess. Once they build this, we'll have the ability to move, and then we can move on to the next map point uh, and see what's over there. All right, we got our map or our uh, mast built, rather. There's only one place we can go from here, so I guess we're going on to the second one. Uh, this one has villagers in an abandoned town. So the villagers will be handy because we can increase the number of people we have in our town. Lord knows we could use more workers. Alright, two points of interest on this one. So we have a lonely island, Flounder Clam Chowda Swanstrom, and Clementine Deep One Frog Bottom. So there are two people here we could rescue. Uh, and then this one we can scavenge, and, and this is where we're going to get some research points and then some other unknown products. So we'll send one there to scavenge, and we'll send one over here to rescue uh, right off the bat. That's going to leave us with one worker left, and I guess we have a fishing boat still. Um, so the fishing boat we can set out to gather more fish, because we are going to need food. We're going to need even more mouths to feed now that we're bringing more people on board. So we'll send that to gather fish over there. There are a couple fishing points here that aren't too far away, so that's a plus. This little guy is over here to come check out the... Uh, Check out the island, see what we can find. Who's rummaging through the building? Shack down. She found something. I don't know what exactly. So I know that there was. Oh, it looks like wood. Um, looks like even dry wood, which is handy. We did get some research points off of this, but not really a ton just yet. We have three research points. We're gonna need more before we can learn how to build anything. Uh, we'll let her keep working over there. Okay, so we have two new people we can label. Let's see. Uh, so Clam Chowder, we're going to rename to Still Snow. And then Deep deep One here, we'll rename this one to The Scrub. Clementine The Scrub Frog Bottom. <laughs> okay. We have six research points now, so we can spend some on something else here. So we have House, Home for Your Drifters, where they can rest. 
This one takes like metal scraps to make, so I'm maybe not in a real rush to do that. I need to find a better way to get metal scraps. This one requires piping, which we'd actually have to make the scrapsmith with first. What's this? Grills fresh. Simple but tasty. Takes 14 metal scraps. All right, we're, we're gonna need to find a good source of metal scraps. I, I think I'll research the um, the uh, the house for now, I guess. Even though we're not really in a position to build it just yet. Uh, we do need bedding for our two new people. So I guess uh, we should probably do that. That'll give them a place to sleep. Uh, water is gonna become a greater concern too, so I should probably build a second one of these. Which means we're gonna need to dedicate a constant supply of firewood. Otherwise, oh, we're never gonna keep up with that. Okay, we finished scavenging. So that looks like it got us, uh, what is this, canned food maybe? Canned food, firewood, and uh, wet wood, which we can, no, oh, actually I guess it's dry wood. It's not bad off that way. In terms of our total supplies, then we have 29 dried fish. Um, it's not showing the canned food, but I guess maybe they haven't brought all that back just yet. Unless the canned food turned out to be dried fish. In which case, gross. Too much fish. We have a pretty good stock of supplies here, but I don't see anywhere here that we can get more metal scraps just yet. Uh, I mean, this is all this is all plastics and wood and stuff over here. Well, actually, it should tell me if I put down a boy over here. Yeah, so it's plastic and wood over here, so that's not going to help. I'm going to move on to the next point, I think. I, I don't think there's a place to get any metal scraps here, and that's kind of what I need most right now. I have wood and plastic in a reasonable quantity. Uh, water, of course, is something that we're, we're a little stressed for. I see somebody making firewood now, but they just they haven't finished doing it. Let's have this set up constantly to produce fresh water for us, as long as we have firewood to run it. Uh, and we'll move on to the next map point. Oh, which conveniently enough takes us to a leaking water tower. So there's fresh water, oil, and an abandoned town here. A huge barrel towering over that village is leaking water. The unquenchable thirst is finally over. Fill up the reservoir, boys. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna salvage first. So we'll go over here. We'll get uh, that's 20 water. So that's definitely worth grabbing. And then this one over here. As oil, I guess, which I'm not really ready to use just yet. This last one will get me more research. So I'm gonna set the scavenging on that. And then food's gonna be a constant need as well, so I guess we'll set a boy over here to collect some fish while we're at it. Ooh boy, water is gonna be an ongoing problem, I think. I'm all the way down to one. They're chopping firewood, but maybe not fast enough. I mean, maybe I should make a second workshop. Uh, I only have seven wood to work with, though, so I don't know this is gonna help a lot. I could build a second one right here. I don't know, I kind of want to get some other water production that doesn't require my constant work effort, though. Ooh, they finished searching over here, so that should give me some more research points. Yeah, we have 13 now, so I can go ahead and make... Well, solar still I can make with just plastic and dry wood, and that seems pretty important. Bring in salt water, put out fresh water. We also have a desalinator we can make, but that takes more materials. I think I'm going to make a, a solar still... Drifters can store water here. Yeah, we'll make the, we'll research the solar still so we can get water production going as quickly as we can. For that, we're gonna need wood. So let's set up uh, set up a boy over here to collect some wood. All right, they finally finished cleaning all the water out of this uh, leaking water tower, and that's pretty good actually because it's gonna fill up our water storage a little bit better. Uh, I have two desalinators going, so that's helping, but bringing in that fresh water is, is pretty clutch. Um, let's go over here and we'll check this, salvage this and try to get the oil out of it. I don't know what to do with the oil just yet, but I'm sure there'll be things we can research and make in a little bit. Uh, and in the meantime, the town seems to be going alright. Good amount of food, good amount of water. I made a ton of firewood. I, I didn't realize that I still had this storage set up to hold firewood, so there's 15 firewood over here. Another 11 over here, so they've got enough to work with for now, as long as they keep feeding it into the desalinator. You gotta watch the storage. This is our water bottle at the front here, that I think that shows what our maximum storage is. 
We can hold a total of 60. We're at 29, so... You know, not bad, I guess. We cleaned out all the points of interest on this particular map spot, and our little uh, our little garbage town is growing quite nicely. I have a lot of storage already built, and I think we're going to need more, because I'm stockpiling quite a bit of resources. We have a lot of wood now, a decent amount of plastic, but we still haven't found a good place for metal scraps. We're ready to move on to the next map point, which I guess uh, is going to give us a decision now. We have a, an option to go down here to Lonely Island to find more villagers, or up to the seagull nest to get animals. I guess we can get animal friends, but I don't really know exactly what to do with those just yet. I feel like we're probably going to want to go for more people, but we will make that decision next time. Thanks everyone for checking out the video. If, uh, if you like this game and you want to see some more of it, just make sure you leave a comment, a like. Uh, that sort of helps me understand uh, what games you guys are interested in. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, click on that subscribe button. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.